Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my March TV uh, wrap up, my March wrap up of 2019 book week one. I read a total of five books. I'm not going to tell you what I'm currently reading because I am currently participating in the Read of Rama round 12 t uh, readathon. So yes, um, so that wrap up will be next week. Um, so, yes, um, I'll show you what I listened to and read. Um, so the first book was a library book, and that was His True Queen by Jody, Jody Ellen Moppus. This is book two in the Smoke and Mirrors duology. I gave this four out of five stars. This is a conclusion of um, the Smoke and Mirrors duology. Um, this follows Adeline and Josh, and I don't want to give you too much, but it pretty much picks up right off where his, or her, the, whatever the book one is, um, and it picks up right after where that left off, and I really enjoyed it at four out of five stars, and yes. Then, I read the Rated X by Ella Fox, and, um, and this was the Read, Read, Read Me Romance podcast. This is the first book by her that I have read. Um, I gave this three out of five stars. As I said, it is the Read Me Romance podcast, so it is free, and it is an audiobook, um, and this follows Rory and Mason. And they broke up, and then he comes back and was like, she's on a date, and he's very mad. And, yeah, um, three out of five stars. Minutes to cover. And then the last book I read, but I don't own a physical copy of this, so I borrowed it from my library, and I do have an audiobook, um, which is... Firelight by Kristen Callahan. This is book one in the Darkest London series. This follows Miranda and Asher. This is a historical fiction steampunk. Not that I saw that much steampunk in it. Um, I gave this three out of five stars. This is also the first book by her that I've read, but I am going to give her another chance. Um, historical fiction is not my cup of tea. Um, so I'm going to try her new adult stuff, which I have, I have all of her books in her new adult. So I have all of the idol ones, and then I have the hookup series, um, all of them. So I just need to read those. Um, but I gave this three out of five stars. Um, this follows Miranda and Asher, their arranged marriage, and yeah, um, this I did use for the Romanceopoly of London Street, which is Rita's steampunk novel. Um, so, yes. And I did was, uh, use one of my credits for the audiobook. And then, the last two books I read, I actually own a physical copy. So the first one is My Week with the Bad Boy or Falling for the Bad Boy. They renamed it. This is by Kennedy Fox. Um, this is book one in the, um, Bedtime Read story, um, and this one has their author's names, so it's Brooke Cumberland and Laura Parrish. Um, I gave this four out of five stars, yeah. Uh, this follows Vlad and Ethan, um, and Vlad is how I'm saying it. I don't know if that's actually how you say it, or is it Vita? I don't know. Um is an author and she is having trouble writing so she decides to go um, to South Carolina I think it is yeah I'm pretty sure it's South Carolina um, and she books a like an Airbnb and Ethan is running that <laughs> um, Airbnb and he is into pottery and um, I use this for my um, Bad Boy Circus, 
um, Romance Real, uh, Romanceopoly. So I completed that challenge. I gave this four out of five stars. And yes. And then the sec the last book I'm going to talk about is book two in that series, um, Falling for the Playboy. And I used this for the bus um, challenge on Romanceopoly, which is to read a book that deals with travel. And this one does. This follows, um, what is her name? Olivia, um, who is an assistant to a best a best-selling author. And Maverick, who is a model, um, he just happens to be a cover cover model of um, the best-selling author's books, and um, they are going on a book tour, a book signing slash tour, um, and Maverick doesn't fly, so Olivia and him do a road trip. Um, I gave this five out of five stars, really love this book. Um, so far my favorite book in the series. There is one more out um, that I was going to try to read before Read Aroma started, but I didn't. So um, I will get to that eventually. Then, uh, So this week is Read Aroma and then next week is Buzzword-a-thon. And there is also an After-a-thon. Um, so my month is pretty much Read Aroma buzzword and then after series by Anna Todd. So I don't know when I'll get to the third book, but I'm hopeful very soon. Um, and yes, but this one I loved. Five out of five stars. And so this week I completed three Romance Opoly challenges, which is really good. Um, I only have two more to complete for my March picks, um, which is really good, and I know one of them I'm completing next week um, for Buzzword, um, so hopefully I can complete the second one before um, the end of the month. And yeah, those are all the books I've read. If you want like a full review on any of these, just let me know. I'm more than happy to. Um, did you read any of these books? And what books did you read? Um, and if you're participating in Readorama, what do you plan on reading? And I'll see you guys later. Bye.